Let's do one more example and I'll get you to have a go at the questions yourself. Here's another example. Here's another triangle. Okay. Let's go through the four steps. First step, label your sides, identify the trig ratio. Right angles over here. I go across hypotenuse. I don't have a value for the hypotenuse. I'm not going to use anything that has a hypotenuse in it. Mm. Next one. My opposites, I go to my angle. So theta, I don't know what theta is. I'm, I'm missing an angle. I go opposite. So this side over here is O. My 15 is O. And that's I'm left with my final side over here. 8.2 is my adjacent side. Let's... Uh, let's identify our trig ratio. Now, just remember, you don't need to write this every time you do the questions, but I like writing it just so I know where it is. Which one has O and A? The last one, tan. So I'm going to write a trig equation. That's the second step. Write the trig equation. Tan, and what do I put inside regular trig? Tan is a regular trig. There's no minus one here. Just remember, we're, put, using, we're writing a trig equation, we're using a regular trig. Tan, what am I going to put in tan? My theta, my missing angle, tan theta is equal to, tan is opposite over adjacent, so I'm going to put in those values. A opposite is 15, adjacent is 8.2. Okay. Next step after that is I want to undo tan. I use inverse tan or inverse trig. So here, theta is going to be equal to tan inverse. And what do I put into inverse trig? my ratio. So here I'm going to put in my fraction 15 over 8.2. So there we go. That's how I find my missing angle. Let's put it into a calculator. So inverse trig, shift, tan. And I put in my fraction 15 over 8.2. I go across and I close my brackets. And so here I want this to my nearest angles, nearest whole degree. And so here I'm going to get 61.3. That to the nearest degree is 61 degrees. Now, if they ask you for the nearest minute, just remember there's a button over here. This button over here, the degrees, minutes, seconds. If I press that, it tells me, and I'll do this to the nearest minute. This is 61 degrees and 20 minutes. So that was the other way that we could also represent angles. We can represent it with degrees, minutes, and seconds. So if you want to do degrees, minutes, and seconds, let me go back to my calculator. This button here with the little circle, uh, the apostrophe, and the quotation marks, this one over here, that one gets me between degree, uh, uh, regular decimals and our degrees, minutes, and seconds. So that's how we find missing angles using trigonometry. We have to use inverse trig. So a quick summary of this lesson. We were looking at finding missing angles using trigonometry. How do we do that? Well, we still do the same steps that we've been doing in the last couple of lessons. We label, identify, write an equation, rearrange, and then solve by putting it in the calculator. But instead of using regular trig, we've been using inverse trig. So inverse trig, what do we need to do? Inverse trig, we take, we put in an angle. So our input is an angle. And it, oh, all the way around. Oh, I made the mistake. Input is a ratio. So opposite over hypotenuse. And we get out the angle. The output is the angle. So make sure you're very clear which type of trig you're using. Are you trying to find a missing side or missing angle? If you're trying to find a missing angle, we need to use inverse trig. Hopefully this was helpful. If you need any help, feel free to email me or send a message. I'm more than happy to try and answer your questions.